Hello Daily Drafters and welcome back to the channel for today's Daily Draft. We are finishing up the first full week of Dominaria Drafts. Dominaria, we're finishing up the full week of the Brothers War Drafts here on the channel. And the format is starting to settle in a little bit. We're having an idea of what better colors are, better archetypes are, and things like that. So we're going to dive right into pack one, pick one, and we see Urza, Prince of Krug, which is part of a fun little infinite combo in the format. However, I don't think I'm going to be taking that card here, particularly because blue-white doesn't really care about artifact creatures. So I don't know why this has the text that it does, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> all of the uncommons here, apart from Swift Spear, um, are not great in my mind. I don't really want to play any of these. I mean, this one could be fine in certain decks. Swift Spear is good. Prison Sentence is good. Excavation Explosion, I believe, is going to be my pick here. Um, this is just a really, really good common. A uh, really good damage spell. And I'm going to take that, and we'll see what comes. Okay, so now we see Fauna Shaman, which could be interesting. But I feel like this is the kind of card that you take once you already have some big boys that you want to go find. Not the reason to find those big boys. Um, so if we don't take Fauna Shaman, I think it's between something like Overwhelming Remorse, which I think is very good. And... You know, Sardian Cliff Stomper could be fun in like a, a mono red artifacts deck. Sibling Rivalry, also a very good one. Since this is the, well, there's another black common here in Goring Warplow, but this is the only true black common in the pack. And I think it's the best card in this pack. Boulder Branch Golem is also quite good. Um, Shoot Down is playable. So the cards I'm looking at are Fauna Shaman, Remorse, Rivalry and Golem, and I think I'm just going to take the Overwhelming Remorse as a really good removal spell here, and I haven't yet been in Black Red, and I think Black Red is a good archetype in this format, so I think I'm going to go ahead and take that here. <clears throat> now, there is Battlefield Butcher, which is good with Overwhelming Remorse in that we're trying to put creatures into our yard. There's also Gnawing Vermin, which is good with both of these cards. There's a Prison Sentence, which is good. There's an Energy Refractor, which is great in Black Red. And there's a Sibling Rivalry, which could also be good in Black Red. But we don't have any Sacrifice Outlets yet. So this card might not be at its best. I think I might take the Battlefield Butcher. This card just seems quite good. If you have three creatures in your yard, you could ping them for two every single turn for just two mana. And that's a really good deal. So I think I'm going to actually take the Battlefield Butcher here. <clears throat> and... See what comes our goodness, all of the sibling rivalries here. <coughs> Alright, there's a chromatic star, which is good in black red. Um, and there's another sibling rivalry. I think I'm gonna take the star. I mean there's a chance one or two of these wheel. But the star goes better in like a, an aggressive black red deck that cares about that one drop that everyone's been talking about on Twitter. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it, but like the goblin, little goblin thing, the menace goblin. Well, here's a Pentagon Strong Bull, and now I regret not taking those, um, taking those. Sibling rivalries when we saw them, we gotta hope they wheel now, because we are gonna take this, although there's a Falaji Dragon Engine here, which is quite good, but this kind of deck usually likes to be pretty low to the ground, with cheaper creatures like Strong Bull, so we're gonna take the Strong Bull here, and then see an Arbalist Engineers, which is quite good, there's a Stern Lesson, which is good, <clears throat> this is just going to be an evolving wilds for us it's another land that can sacrifice itself so again that little one drop goblin thing is going to be quite good in this deck if we can find them so elsewhere flask is another artifact that cantrips and sacrifices itself it's also good with pentagon strong bowl i doubt this is a disciples of gix deck so I think I'm just going to take the Elsewhere Flask here, over a raise to the ground. And 
And then maybe we find like a corrupt or something to, to combo with this. Um, disfig oh, sibling rival, oh my gosh. Okay, so black red could be open. I almost just clicked on all three of these. Scrapwork Rager is great in this deck. Disfigure is great in this deck. Sibling Rivalry is great in this deck. Because this is pick eight, and I think we're going to be able to get, if we're seeing this pick eight, I think we're going to be able to get at least one, if not two or three of the ones that are already wheeling. I'm going to take the creature because we have two cards, and I know this has unearth, but we have two cards that care about creatures in the graveyard and a card that, card that would not mind sacrificing this one. So I'm going to go ahead and take this in the hopes that a couple of these packs have the sibling rivalries that are going to wheel for us. Here's a Clay Revenant, which is a great combo with Penragon Strongbowl. It's another good sacrifice outlet if we, you know, it's a thing that could be in the yard for Battlefield Butcher. I don't really care about Killzone Acrobat or Dwarven Forge Chanter necessarily, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Clay Revenant and really hope to wheel one or two of those sibling rivalries here. Let's see if we can find them. I think they're in the next three packs, so. And here's one. It's also a Goring Warplow. Probably would play that card. But I'll take the first sibling rivalry. We'll see if we get another one here. So we currently have one sacrifice outlet. If we're going to play any number of these rivalries, I'd like to get two or three strong bulls, ideally. Yeah, so this is looking at, oh my gosh, there's an energy refractor as well. Okay, so I don't know how many rivalries I'm going to play, and there's one in the next pack. If both of these wield, I think we're going to get the next one. So we're still going to have two rivalries out of the first pack, pack, and energy refractor is a great cantrip for this deck, because here comes the third, oh, disappointment. It's okay, we still got one, and based on how late these were going in this pack, we could probably get at least one or two more over the course of the rest of this draft here. I doubt I'm playing any of these. And, yeah, so definitely looking for more Strong Bulls. That's oh, last pick, Disciples. That's a good card. <clears throat> and now we're looking at Junkyard Genius Hello. This card is great. It's a reason to be in this deck for sure. It's also another Sacrifice Outlet. Although with Rivalry, it makes this a 7-mana combo, but that's okay. There's another Rager. I doubt this wheels, but we might be able to. The last one went pretty late. And that's about the only card I'd hope to wheel here. But we are taking Junkyard Genius. And then we see Giant Cindermaw, which is just a generically good card. Um, <clears throat> Sigil of Valor. It's kind of cute, but don't think it's for this deck. Killzone Acrobat, I doubt it. Intervention. We don't really have a lot of creatures. We have to make sure we have our get our creature count up as well. But I think the best card in this pack is the Cinder Maw. And I'm probably just going to take that here. So we'll take the Cinder Maw. I'd love to get, again, I'm taking Pendragon Strongbull over most cards here. If this were late in the format, I definitely would have taken the Urza at the beginning. Because for those of you that haven't seen the short here on the channel, that explains the infinite combo. We have Urza Prince of Krug plus Pendragon Strongbull and Suchi Caveguard. Three card infinite combo. Requires three colors of mana, but get them all on the battlefield at the same time, you win. <laughs> um, Alright, so here's an interesting one. Visions of Phyrexia lets you draw two cards a turn. Energy Refractor is another really, really good card with Strong Bull and Junkyard Genius. And I think it's between those two. The last one of these wheel, maybe this table doesn't know how good this is, but Visions of Phyrexia is also just a very, very good card. I think I'm just going to take that here. Alright, so now we have Millstone... Bitter Reunion is probably pretty good. Goblin Firebomb, not bad either. Yeah, we can take Bitter Reunion. It's another card that sacrifices itself. We don't really have cards that care too much about sacrificing. The only problem is we have six creatures right now, which is not good. We have to up that creature count. So, how many non-creatures? Seven? No. Two enchantments? A couple? So, 
Swift Spear might not be bad. Carrion Locust, maybe so, but I think I'd rather go with Swift Spear. Definitely don't need a second reunion, especially considering we need a bunch of creatures here. Gixian Infiltrator is a nice two drop, and we have a lot of sacrifice synergies in the deck, so I think this is a pretty good one to fit in here. I uh, wouldn't mind playing a Blitz Automaton, to be honest, <clears throat> but we'll take the, uh, the Infiltrator. Right now we have two ways to sacrifice with Genius and Strong Bowl. I guess we could take Dwarven Forge Chanter. Prison Sentence, pretty late for that card. We have an Evolving Wilds. I don't think it's worth splashing that, though. I'll take the Chanter here. Again, we just we kind of just need creatures, and then we can decide later what to do. There's a Moment of Defiance, and there's a Raise to the Ground. I think I'll take my first copy of Raise to the Ground, although this is one of those cards that's like 22nd, 23rd card in the deck that may or may not make it, depending on our removal situation. Did not see any sibling rivalries this pack or Pendragon Strong Bulls, so that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Killzone Acrobat, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think our deck is really set up to maximize this. I guess it is with things like Flask and Refractor and all that kind of stuff, but it is just another creature. I don't really care about either of these two cards, so I'll take it, but... Didn't really get helped out that much by pack number two, honestly. We got Junkyard Genius, and we got Visions of Phyrexia, but other than that, not a lot of synergy. If anything, I'm giving you, I think this is the fifth, yeah, fifth draft of this format here on the channel. See, Energy Refractor Wield. This card is good, guys. Um, and I think this is the fifth different archetype that we've drafted, so that's my goal here. You know, win or lose, I just want you all to see, see a bunch of decks, see what's good, see what's not, so that I can burn my coins and gems on the draft so you don't have to. <laughs> should be the, uh, should be the tagline here on the channel. I mean, the deck's not bad so far. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, none of that matters. <clears throat> it's going to be an interesting deck build. We still have, we have 21 playables in another pack. Although there's some cards I wouldn't mind cutting. Would not mind seeing a Tyrant of Care Ridges opened in pack three. Boom. Nope. <clears throat> um, Goblin Charbelcher. <laughs> Is that good? What's the black common? Thraxodemon? Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not going to read this to you. You can read it if you want to. <laughs> I mean, no, right? That doesn't seem like it's worth it. <clears throat> Maybe Forge Chanter or Juggernaut Wheels, but another stack outlet with the sibling, sibling rivalry and the hope of picking up at least one more is pretty good for, so for us. So we'll take Thraxodemon. What is this? It's like a mana rock? No thanks. <clears throat> Probably just another Gixian Infiltrator here. What does Lagstone Refinery work with for us? Um... Literally nothing except these two cards. Okay, so that, that doesn't... I mean, not Refinery, Symmetry Matrix. <clears throat> so this is not great for us right now. I think Infiltrator is another decent-ish one. So we'll go ahead and take that here. 
Here's another rivalry. There's an automaton. There's a forge chanter moment of defiance, self-assembler. I think we'll take this rivalry here and really, really hope we can get another Pentagon strong bowl. <clears throat> or an obliterating bolt. That's also pretty good. <laughs> Two mana deal four to a creature or planeswalker. If it dies, exile it. It's great. I would not mind another copy of this. I mean, I guess these Killzone Acrobats are pretty good with the rivalries. I mean, we can't hit them with our own creature, but we can sacrifice it for free, so it's probably worth playing these with two rivalries. Excavation Explosion. Gruesome Realization's pretty good. I probably would play a copy of this. Same with Power Stone. Actually, this is... Ooh, Power Stone Fracture over Excavation Explosion. We have Clay Revenant, Chromatic Star... Elsewhere Flask and Double Energy Refractor. This just seems really, really good in our deck. <clears throat> as much as I do like an Exclavation Explosion, this is Unconditional Removal. I think we have to take the Fracture. Yeah, I think that's correct there. Um, Ravenous Gigamol, not bad for a little bit of self-mill. It's the only card I'd really consider playing here either. Disfigure. This is a late obstinate Bayloth. But don't mind playing a Disfigure here. Disfigure number two, not bad. <clears throat> I originally had this card ranked very highly. I fell into the trap. I don't think target opponent reveals their hand cards are very good. And I thought this one was better. It's very cheap. You can get an artifact or a creature and one from their yard. It's just, you top deck this late in the game. It's like, why why did I put this in my deck? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, well, I think the deck came together a little bit here. Um, I'm going to have to figure out exactly how to build it. But I think we have some options here. <clears throat> going to have to make at least... Four or five more cuts. And there's one more sibling rivalry that could come back around for us. Alright, so I guess Forge Chanter over Juggernaut. Just a two drop. Don't know how much synergy this has. <clears throat> we have the Butcher and we have the Remorse. But this mills it and then gives us a creature back, which is good, but I mean. It's a 4 minute 2 3 Gravedigger almost. I don't think I'm playing any of this here. Uh, we already have two of these. I mean, a third might not be bad if we play a little bit more on the, uh, like, maybe cut the butcher or something, and then play a little bit more non-creature based, but I think I'll take the automaton, actually. And this one did come back. Interesting. Okay. There was also a couple cards there, Clay Revenant, <clears throat> and the other one that might not have been bad for us, but we have three rivalries, so I'm probably going to play both of these acrobats as well as the Junkyard Genius and the Pentagon Strongbull and the, um, I'm glad we got the Power Stone Fracture and the Thraxid Demon. So we have a lot of ways to sacrifice. So this is going to be an interesting deck build here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to start from scratch here and just like see what has to make the deck. Revenant is great. Double Disfigure is probably pretty good. Both of these are good, that's good, that's good. This is like a maybe. It might be a little bit too expensive for our deck. 
Um, <clears throat> I think we have to play both of these. This is probably good. I'll see about this in a moment. This card's good. Uh, I don't know about Swift Spear. Bitter Reunion seems good. I don't know about these two cards. Obliterating Bolt, yes. Explosion, yes. Cinder Maw, I think, yes. Strong Bolt, duh. Triple Rivalry, Visions, genius. Double Refractor, Flask, star. So that's basically the deck still have to make two cuts. So what's the creature count here? 10? It's a little low, but we have these... Lots of removal, lots of cantripping, probably play 16 lands, which means we just cut one more card here. <clears throat> Potentially just the flask, I guess, and that way we have two refractors and a star. And then just play 16 lands. Because we have two refractors, a star, bit of reunion, to kind of find our way into more lands if we need them. A scrapbook rager. So lots of ways to draw cards here. Put the wilds in, and then... Probably need more red. Not that much more. This much more, right? Yeah, with the visions and triple rivalries. Yeah, I think this looks fine. Okay. <clears throat> Double acrobat with triple rivalry is going to be pretty good for us. So yeah, I think this um this does some things. I, I'm not sure it's super powerful, and I'm not sure it's quite aggressive enough to get underneath all of the super powerful things that are going on in this format. But it's a black-red deck. It's my first time playing black-red. And we're going to see how it goes. <clears throat> I'm excited to try it out, so we'll see. All right, we go first with Refractor on two, which seems fine. We'll take the Wilds here. Blue into Clay Revenant, okay. Come on, give me my land. Power Stone Fracture is a good draw with the uh, Refractor already on the battlefield. Bitter Reunion. I could possibly discard the Rager here. <clears throat> Still have value of it from it from the graveyard. Okay, I don't think we need to use Disfigure on this. <clears throat> I mean, maybe we can at this point just to be mana efficient? But I think my plan for this next turn is to play Strong Bull. We could still hold up Disfigure if we want to, so... Probably don't need to play it. <clears throat> okay, down goes Strong Bowl. We do have Power Stone Fracture to help us out in that situation. <clears throat> I 
I'm not sure we're going to see a better target for this for now. So I'm just going to kill it while I can, while I have mana. This can still activate its, its uh, thing, too, so we can... Can make that combo there as well. So we're going to get a power stone. I think now's the time to do this here. <clears throat> Go ahead and get the power stone. And we still have this activated ability. We have a bunch of artifacts and things we can sacrifice, so... Okay. Let me go ahead and play that. Huh, and I guess we play Rager? Don't really have anything else to do here. They have a, yeah, Koilos Rock. Okay. Alright, so they'll do that, and we'll just go ahead and sacrifice it, because it's not getting anything else. So we'll get the counter here, and we'll get the ping there. <clears throat> Probably going to use, well, definitely going to use something on this thing now. Okay. Sure. Well, we don't really have to anymore that we have an explosion now, I guess. Right? Okay. Do I want to trade Infiltrator for Third Path Savant here? I think that's probably okay. I think they're just planning on drawing two cards. They're not going to do it. Okay. Alright, draw two. <clears throat> we are at ten, so we have to... Kind of watch out on that, but again, we have this activation and currently four power or four artifacts to sacrifice to it, so they're at like 12 technically. <clears throat> okay, we could surprise them by Sibling rivalry, our own infiltrator. <laughs> They're going to kill visions of Phyrexia or something? Scrapwork Rager. Okay. Carrion Locust. Um, I think I'll do this here now. And we can actually Power Stone Fracture to sacrifice, so target this, sacrificing this, 
killing both of their creatures. Okay. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll go ahead and take this now, then, I guess. Do this. And I did forget this is only sacrifice an artifact, not an artifact or creature. So we'll have to make sure of that. Do we have lethal right now? <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. And we do have six mana. Is that right? So we use this to pay. Use this to pay. And then ping them for six. I think we have lethal. With four more artifacts here. Yep, we do have lethal. All right, see, the power of Pendragon Strongbow. That card is really, really good. <laughs> All right, we're on the play here with Infiltrator on two. Bit of reunion if we need it. Put the counter here. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, we can sacrifice this at instant speed to give that a counter. Removal spell. So we got some stuff here. Another permanent we can sacrifice at instant speed to put a counter on this. Harbin. Well, that needs to basically die. Am I willing to trade this for it? Or would I rather just obliterating bolt that right now? Probably just obliterating bolt. Go ahead and play this, sacrifice it, get a counter. <clears throat> Interesting, okay. I will choose to discard one of these many lands. <clears throat> so they draw a card for each creature they play, basically, once a turn. Okay. Zephyr Sentinel's a great one for them. Yep. Lots of weak stone subjugations going around. <clears throat> That'll be good next turn. I'm just going to drop the strong bull here now. Have to remember that this can only sacrifice artifacts. So if we steal a creature, we can't sacrifice it to this.
All right, so they're getting aggressive here. We can sacrifice it to this, though. Can probably attack here actually because we have disfigure and we have this to sacrifice this to make things bigger Oh, this is so good, especially with the Sentinel. So what they're going to do is they're going to flash in the Sentinel, return that to their hand. <clears throat> it's not a soldier, though. But I'm just going to go ahead and kill the Sentinel here. And they get another card. I think I'm just going to kill this while I can. And I'll play this here. <clears throat> now if they play some 4 or 5 drop or something, we can steal it and sacrifice it to the Acrobat if we wanted to. Man, they got a card draw engine over there, don't they? Is there a reason to keep this around, or should I just sacrifice it to the Acrobat here? Give it flying and push some more damage? I think I will. Okay. They have all the flash creatures. They're drawing three cards a turn, basically. Interesting. They're just taking it all? <clears throat> so if we use this to sacrifice the refractor here... Could get an extra two damage in. Right now they're taking five. This would be six, seven. They go down to go down to seven. I think I will. There's a chance this this sacrifice play doesn't have much utility much later in this game here. So I'll just hold up overwhelming remorse here. <clears throat> I'm not particularly liking my chances consider they, considering they have seven cards in hand right now. This, uh, this enchantment has done some work for them. <clears throat> They're a really good blue-white soldiers deck. I mean, they've got Zephyr Sentinel. They even have a Fortified Beach. They have Harbin. They have Paratrooper, Marshal, Ways to Draw Cards.
<clears throat> These are certainly not doing it. I mean, don't really have, especially with all their mana up, we don't really have good plays here, so I just have to kind of pass. They're going to flash in another paratrooper, draw another card, I mean. <laughs> oh, they're going to tap both of these down with... Uh... Oh, I see, I see. Oh, gosh. Do we put that on top? Like, how good is that on top of our library? I mean, it's good, but, like, it delays us a whole turn. Because next turn we're just going to play it and pass again. I guess. I mean, I, I don't really know. I think they've kind of got us here. I mean, they have, they have more cards than they know what to do with. Fly. <clears throat> this set <clears throat> has been the absolute God, double Zephyr Sentinel. Oof. Yeah, their deck is busted. Um, flying in this set has been better than any other set I remember. There is a ton of flying at common and uncommon, and they're just flyers everywhere. So if you don't have any, like we don't here, we're just going to get completely trashed by this deck here now, because they're just going to fly over the top, and even if we steal it, they're going to also... Um, yeah, no blocks, I guess. They're going to also have, still have flying blockers back, so like, just not great. And pass, I guess. I mean, you keep doing your thing. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. This value. <laughs> this is a sweet deck. Good job, Lazy Turtle. You did it. Five, they're probably going to pump this and hit us for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Because I didn't block this now. I guess not. They have better ways to use their mana. <laughs> they just have so many creatures, we just... Do not really have the answer here. Okay, double strike. Maybe there's a way we could win here? We have to get lucky. Okay, so... Let's see. 
If I overwhelming remorse something right now, what would I do? What if I stole the combat thresher, sacrificed it to the kill zone acrobat, <clears throat> and got in there? If I stole the Zephyr Sentinel and attacked with it, put them to four, then we don't have a way to sacrifice it. Because this has to sacrifice when this attacks. If I stole the Paratrooper, we don't have enough mana to activate this. I could steal the Combat Thresher and sacrifice it to the Strong Bowl. <clears throat> I can't give this flying somehow. What if I stole this and this, but I can't give that flying? Yeah, I'm not sure I really have a way here. Huh. Well? Does that do it? Play this. Attack. Sacrifice the Power Stone. Give this flying. Sibling rivalry. Take this. Attack them for six in the air. They go to one. And I sacrifice the extra power stone. But I don't have the extra mana for that. Because this costs an extra mana. I can put them to one. Is that right? Oh, that sucks. Oh, and then I put them to one, they take it back. I don't think they're... I don't think there was a way I could have gotten it there. Oh, that was so close. If I had one extra mana. Oh, man. If I had one extra mana, I could have used the uh, the activation of the Strong Bull to sacrifice the other Power Stone. Man. Okay, so we're on the play here with a really good hand if we can find a mountain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this, never find a mountain, and see you in game four very quickly. <laughs> Because that's usually how these hands go. It's a very easy keep. Again, all you need to do... Oh, well, perfect. There. Now we had it. Now I have to... I have to make note that for every time that I don't find a mountain, the times that I do, I have to be thankful for it. So, thank you, deck gods, for finding me the mountain when you did. <laughs> Alright, so what do I play here? Um, this is all so good. It's a really good hand here. Um, do they have any interaction... No. So I'm basically free to play something. Let's play this. So next turn we can go Strong Bull and Revenant. I figured they'd probably have a kill spell for whatever you played too, and I think I'd rather have this one die. As good as it is, I mean, this strong bowl is just so good. No! Stop! <laughs> Jerk. I don't appreciate when you get two for ones. <clears throat> Because now you have seven cards in hand. I have two. What the hell happened there? <laughs> I 
Down goes Strongbowl. And now our hand looks very bad. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I know we could have held the land for the bit of reunion. <clears throat> but in case we if we draw another one, I'll I'll cast this card here. And the Acrobat plus the Revenant is a pretty good combo. Acrobat plus Chromatic Star is pretty good. A sibling rivalry off the top is pretty good. Now they're gonna use Epic Confrontation here. <clears throat> So every creature in our hand that we played has died. All the relevant ones. <laughs> so that's been just wonderful. This figure is good. Gonna attack here, get rid of the chromatic star, draw a card. Alright, not bad here. <clears throat> I'm not going to cast... Ooh, there we go. Okay, so stop here. Resolves. And that's the reason I held the disfigure. So I could do that. <laughs> They have seven mana now, see if they play like a Boulder Branch Golem or something. <laughs> the format is solved. I know exactly what you're doing. Unfortunately, we can't do both of these yet. I'd like to take control of this and then Power Stone Fracture sacrifice it. What we could do is we could just Power Stone Fracture this down, but this is such a good combo in our hand right now. <clears throat> Although the Power Stone Fracture is going to still be good <clears throat> by sacrificing this and killing that. So while they're tapped out, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and kill this now. Go ahead and sacrifice their creature. I know we give up on damage that way, but that's the way to kill their creature, so. <clears throat> Still have the Power Stone Fracture in hand with the Clay Revenant. Yep. They're just gaining all kinds of life here. Gained 10 life already. <laughs> Here come the lands. <clears throat> um. Push more damage here, but boy, now they're going to be hitting us for four. I mean, am I blocking? Probably not. <clears throat> Jeez, sorry about all this coughing. Gosh. Okay. And now we're probably dead. Uh, 
I really don't want to have to use this right now. But might have to. I know this exiles, so doing it on the mutt is better. But right now the revenant blocks the mutt well enough, so we could do it on the engineers. And again, I know they have on Earth with this thing too. Oh God. There's their card draw engine now. We'll use these over here. <clears throat> Well, that's not bad. It exiles it. They don't draw the card. However, there's probably something bigger we need to save this for, even though they draw a card off of this. And they can unearth it. <clears throat> Got another one. Yeah, they have too much card draw here at this point. I think we need to top deck Visions of Phyrexia to even like try to get back into this game. Do we exile their scrap work mutt? Probably. I mean, I don't know, man. So we'll take four from an unearthed mutt, at the very least. <clears throat> I don't think they draw the card here though, because this is just gonna, yeah, exile it if it would leave. So they don't draw another one. And it's got trample, so that's great. I mean, I'm playing 16 lands here, so. They just killed like everything we had. And a strong bull, yeah, so we're, we're just dead. Ha, you can't gain life. Doesn't matter though. All I gotta do is sacrifice these three artifacts and we lose. Alright, well let's try to uh let's try to rally here. I think this deck is better than one in three, so hopefully we win at least one more here. Okay, we are on the draw again. Maybe not again, I'm not sure how many times we have been, but this is a fine enough hand, I suppose. <laughs> Going against red white. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is going to be a quick one, one way or the other. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Oh my god. This is so frustrating. <laughs>
Fine by me. I need to get this down in the event that I want to sibling rivalry and attack and sacrifice, so I have to play that. Um, see what we find here first. I have another flash creature here, I'm sure. Probably another paratrooper or something. Deadly repost. Okay. Not a great card to play in your aggro deck. Unless you play it in your aggro deck and own me. <laughs> so the rivalry is looking pretty awful now. <clears throat> but I wasn't particularly expecting them to have this card. So, usually aggro decks don't care about their own life total. You realize that has haste, right? <clears throat> Maybe not. Um... I think we need potentially up to six mana here, so that's why I'm gonna. Well, all right, you're gonna block. No. Okay. There's a chance we steal this thing and kill them here at some point, so... They do have... how much does this cost? <laughs> You're gonna tell me they have another one, right? <clears throat> Maybe not. Another one of those. Okay. Take five and then we die next turn. Because we'll draw another land. Um, yeah, this was fun. They take it back, and then they kill us. So, I mean, I don't know what else I could have done in that game. Did I do something wrong? Like... Killed their creature. I killed their. All right, exiled. Come on. Exiled their Blitz Automaton. I, I mean, I attacked with Kill Zone Acrobat into a Deadly Repost that I didn't think they had because they're playing an aggro deck, and usually you don't play that card in aggro decks. Um, I killed multiple creatures from them. They played two Flyers. They pumped them. We got mana flooded. 
it is what it is. It's another 1-3. So I I don't necessarily know what I'm doing wrong here. Maybe let me know. <clears throat> There's probably something I could have done differently to uh, to make sure this deck didn't go 1-3. I mean, it's it's a better deck than a 1-3, is it not? The second game, we just we play our our best three creatures, and they turn after turn killed all three best of our all three of the best creatures that we have. And then we died. So yeah, I mean, I think the deck is good, um, and we got a one three. So sorry for sticking around at the end of this video, and I will see you next time for your daily draft.